Theo James Walcott, born March 16, 1989, is an English former professional footballer who played as a forward. He represented England at the 2006 World Cup and Euro 2012 and won 47 caps, scoring 8 goals. Walcott is a product of the Southampton Academy and started his career with Southampton before joining Arsenal for £5 million in 2006. His speedy pace and ball crossing led his manager Arsene Wenger to deploy him on the wing for most of his career. Walcott has been played as a striker since the 2012-13 season when he was Arsenal's top scorer, and he has scored more than 100 goals for the club. On May 30, 2006, Walcott became England's youngest ever senior football player, aged 17 years and 75 days. In December, he received the BBC Young Sports Personality of the Year Award. On September 6, 2008, he made his first competitive start in a World Cup qualifier against Andorra, and in the following match against Croatia on September 10 he opened his senior international goals tally and became the youngest player in history to score a hat-trick for England. Walcott was born to a black British Jamaican father and a white English mother. He was born in Stanmore, London. But grew up in Compton, Berkshire. He attended Compton Church of England Primary School and the Downs School. He grew up as a Liverpool fan due to his father's support of Liverpool. When Chelsea asked him to be a ball boy, he used the opportunity to meet his Liverpool idols. I was playing in a tournament for Swindon when Southampton and Chelsea showed an interest. Chelsea invited me to be a ball boy for a match against Liverpool and it was fantastic to meet my heroes Michael Owen and Robbie Fowler. I was a Liverpool fan simply because my dad followed them. Unfortunately I wasn't born when the team had their golden era, but I enjoyed watching the likes of Michael Owen, Robbie Fowler and Steve McManaman when I was growing up. When Liverpool won the Champions League last year, I went mad. I was shouting so loud I think I woke up the entire village where I live. As a child Walcott started playing football for his local village team and later for nearby Newbury. He scored more than 100 goals in his one and only season for Newbury, before leaving there for Swindon Town. He spent only six months there before leaving for Southampton after he rejected a chance to join Chelsea. Nike agreed to a sponsorship deal with Walcott when he was 14 years old. At Southampton. In the 2004-05 season, Walcott starred in the Southampton youth team that reached the final of the FA Youth Cup against Ipswich Town. In addition, he became the youngest person to play in the Southampton reserve team, aged 15 years and 175 days, when he came off the bench against Watford in September 2004. However, he did not play in the Premier League, and Southampton were relegated to the championship at the end of the 2004-05 season. Before the start of the 2005-06 season, Walcott linked up with the first team's tour of Scotland, just two weeks after leaving school. He became the youngest ever player with the Southampton first team, at 16 years and 143 days, after coming on as a substitute in Southampton's 0-0 draw at home to Wolverhampton Wanderers in the Championship. Walcott made his full first team debut away to Leeds United on October 18, 2005, and became Southampton's youngest senior goalscorer after 25 minutes of the 2-1 defeat. He scored again away at Millwall four days later, and yet again in his full home debut against Stoke City the following Saturday. His rapid rise to fame also led him to be named amongst the top three finalists for the prestigious BBC Young Sports Personality of the Year Award on December 11, 2005. At Arsenal Walcott transferred to Arsenal on January 20, 2006, for a fee of £5 million, rising to £12 million depending on appearances for club and country. The original fee, payable by installments reported in the Times as £5 million down, five increments of £1 million to be paid after each set of ten Premier League appearances, and £2 million in bonus payments was revised down to £9.1 million in a compromise settlement agreed in March 2008. Walcott initially joined as a scholar, 
having agreed to sign a professional contract on his 17th birthday on March 16, 2006. In September 2008, manager Arsene Wenger confirmed that Tottenham Hotspur, Chelsea and Liverpool had all been interested in signing him. Walcott made his Premier League debut on August 19, 2006, the first day of the 2006-07 season, coming on as a substitute against Aston Villa and setting up a goal for Gilberto Silva. His next appearance was four days later in the Champions League, in the second leg of Arsenal's third qualifying round match against Dinamo Zagreb 31 he became the youngest ever Arsenal player to appear in European competition, a record since beaten by Jack Wills here. Within minutes of coming on, Walcott received his first yellow card in Arsenal colours for taking a shot several seconds after the referee had already blown for offside. During stoppage time, his cross beat the Dynamo defence and Matthew Flamini scored, giving Arsenal a 2-1 win, their first in the new Emirates Stadium, and giving Walcott his second assist in two substitute appearances. His first start came in a home league match against Watford on October 14, 2006. Walcott's exploits with Arsenal and England earned him the BBC Young Sports Personality of the Year award at the end of 2006. Walcott's first goal for Arsenal came in the 2007 League Cup final against Chelsea at the Millennium Stadium, Cardiff, on February 25, 2007. His 12th-minute strike was overshadowed by events later on in the match, John Terry was knocked unconscious, Didier Drogba scored twice to give Chelsea a 2-1 victory and three players were sent off following a mass brawl. A persistent shoulder injury limited his performance, and Arsene Wenger said that after the injury, he was 50 percenter of what he was before. Walcott's first home goals of the 2007 0 8 season were scored in a Champions League match against Slavia Prague, which Arsenal won 7 0. He also set up a goal for Cesc Fabregas. 38 Walcott scored his first two Premier League goals in a 2 2 draw with Birmingham City at St Andrews on February 23, 2008. In the Champions League quarter final on April 8, Walcott beat six Liverpool defenders during a magical run from inside his own half before squaring for Emmanuel Adebayor to side foot home for a late equaliser, but Liverpool scored twice more to take the match 4-2 and the tie 5-3 on aggregate. A couple of weeks later, Wenger claimed that Walcott had made the shift from boy to man, but was not yet a monster. He finished the season with seven goals in all competitions and four in the league. For the 2008, 09 season, Walcott changed his shirt number from 32 to 14, as previously worn by his idol, Thierry Henry. He had wanted number 8, but that had already been taken by Samir Nasri. He established himself as a first-team regular, starting many matches on the right of midfield or on the wing. On October 18, Walcott scored his first Premier League goal of the season, Arsenal's third as they came back from 1-0 down to beat Everton 3-1. Three days later, he scored Arsenal's second in a 5-2 win away to Fenerbahce in the 2008-09 Champions League, rounding the goalkeeper before finishing from a tight angle. Walcott dislocated his right shoulder in November while training with England for a friendly against Germany. He underwent surgery to correct a hereditary weakness, and returned to action in March, but at the end of the season he still felt that it was hampering his performance. In April 2009, he scored against Wigan Athletic, before, four days later in the Champions League quarter-final second leg, he gave his team a tenth-minute lead against Villarreal after receiving a pass from Fabregas and flicking the ball over the goalkeeper. Arsenal won 4-1 on aggregate. In the next match, and FA Cup semi-final against Chelsea, Walcott put Arsenal ahead in the first half, although they eventually lost 2-1. Three days later, Walcott came off to the bench to run half the length of the field before squaring for Andre Arshavin to put Arsenal 4-3 up against Liverpool in the 90th minute, the match finished 4-4. In May 2009 he signed a new long-term contract with Arsenal. Walcott's 2009-10 season was marred by injury, he made only 15 starts in all competitions. Problems with lower back, 
knee and hamstring meant he did not play a full 90 minutes until December 9, against Olympiacos in the Champions League, as Arsenal, already qualified for the knockout stages, fielded the youngest team ever to start a match in that competition. On March 6, 2010, Walcott scored his second goal of the season against Burnley in a 3-1 victory to give Arsenal a decisive lead, with a left-footed effort from the edge of the box, after cutting inside from the right flank. For the first hour of the Champions League quarter-final first leg, Arsenal were outclassed by Barcelona, although only two goals behind. Walcott's appearance off the bench was the turning point. He scored within three minutes of entering the match, brought speed and fearlessness to the hosts' attacks, and was involved in the move that led to Fabregas' equalizer from the penalty spot. After much debate Wenger reacted to Walcott's performance by starting him in the second leg. According to BBC Sports Match Report, Barcelona manager Pep Guardiola anticipated his inclusion by bringing in the pacey Erika Beidel to mark him, and Walcott's main contribution was to set up Nicolas Bentner's opening goal in a 4-1 defeat. Walcott's start to the 2010-11 season was particularly successful, winning Arsenal's Player of the Month vote in August by a landslide. In the second match of the new Premier League season, Walcott scored the first hat-trick of his club career as Arsenal beat newly promoted Blackpool 6-0. On December 27, 2010, he scored a goal and made an assist to help beat Chelsea 3-1 in what Arsene Wenger dubbed a must-win match. Interviewed after Arsenal's FA Cup third-round tie against Leeds United in January 2011, Walcott admitted diving in the last minute of the match in an unsuccessful attempt to win a penalty kick. He was fouled soon afterward, legitimately winning a penalty which was converted by Fabregas to secure a draw and a replay of the fixture, which Arsenal won. On February 21, during the 1-0 victory against Stoke City, Walcott caught his studs in the turf, sustaining an ankle injury that ruled him out of the League Cup final and the Champions League last 16 second leg against Barcelona. On the last day of the season, he came off the bench to score the equalizer in a 2-2 draw away to Fulham, and ended up with a then career high of 9 goals in the Premier League and 13 in all competitions. On August 16, Walcott scored his first goal of the season in the first leg of a Champions League qualifying match against Udinese, giving a vital 1-0 win to Arsenal to carry on into the second leg of the tie. Walcott scored again in the second leg as Arsenal came from behind to win 2-1 and 3-1 on aggregate which helped Arsenal secure qualification for the lucrative group stage of the competition for the 14th straight season. Walcott scored Arsenal's first goal in the 2011-12 Premier League campaign against Manchester United, though this was a mere consolation as Arsenal lost 8-2. He netted his fourth goal on October 29 in a 5-3 win at Chelsea where he picked up the ball on the wing, slipped, then got up and jinked past two Chelsea players before scoring. Walcott scored his first goal of 2012 in the 3-2 defeat at Swansea City, chipping the ball over Swans goalkeeper Michel Vorm. On February 4, 2012, he was involved in the build-up for three goals in the 7-1 home victory against Blackburn Rovers setting up two goals for Robin Van Persie and one for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. On February 26, Walcott scored two second-half goals against Tottenham Hotspur to help them win 5-2 after being 0-2 down in the North London Derby. On March 24, Walcott scored Arsenal's second goal in a 3-0 home win over Aston Villa before being substituted by Oxlade-Chamberlain in the 78th minute. An injury in a 0-0 draw with Chelsea on April 21 looked set to rule Walcott out for the rest of the season but he was able to return in a substitute appearance on the last day of the season in a 3-2 win for Arsenal over West Bromwich Albion. On September 15, 2012, Walcott came on as a substitute for Jervin Ho and scored his first goal of the season in a 6-1 win over his former club Southampton. On September 26, he scored twice in a 6-1 win against Coventry City in the League Cup. On October 30, Walcott scored Arsenal's first goal in first-half stoppage time and their fourth goal in second-half stoppage time in a League Cup tie at Reading to help the club complete a comeback from 4-0 down to 4-4.
Arsenal won 7-5 in extra time, in which Walcott completed his hat trick and backed up his argument that he should be played as a striker. Former gunner Niall Quinn praised Walcott's performance as incredible, in what he described as the most extraordinary game that I've seen. This took him to five League Cup goals for the season, a total which would make him the top scorer in the 2012-13 competition. On December 29, Walcott was deployed as a lone striker and scored his first Premier League hat-trick of the season and provided two assists in an emphatic 7-3 win over Newcastle United. One of Walcott's strikes against Newcastle was voted as the goal of the month for November on the BBC's match of the day. On January 18, 2013, Walcott ended speculation about his future when he signed a new three-and-a-half-year contract with Arsenal. Two days later Walcott scored Arsenal's only goal in a 2-1 defeat to Chelsea. This started a run of four successive matches in which he scored, with Walcott also scoring in a 5-1 win against West Ham United on January 23, a 3-2 win against Brighton and Hove Albion in the Fakup and a 2-2 draw at home to Liverpool. He scored his 20th goal of the season against Queen's Park Rangers after just 20 seconds. The match ended 1-0 and Walcott's goal became the fastest goal of the Premier League that season. Walcott scored another goal in a 4-1 victory over Wigan Athletic which resulted in Wigan's relegation. Walcott finished the season with 14 goals and 12 assists from 32 Premier League matches and scoring 21 times with 16 assists in all competitions to be Arsenal's top scorer. Walcott started the 2013-14 campaign in good form, registering assists against Fenerbahce in the Champions League playoff round as well as against Fulham and Tottenham Hotspur in the Premier League, and scoring against Olympique de Marseille in the Champions League group stage. He suffered an abdominal injury in late September that required surgery, and was out of action for two months, returning against his former club Southampton in late November. He appeared as a substitute in Arsenal's next four fixtures, assisting goals against Cardiff City and Everton, and started his first match since returning from injury, against Manchester City on December 14. He scored twice against City, but could not prevent Arsenal from losing the match 6-3. On December 26, his two goals against West Ham United included the first-headed goal of his club career. Walcott injured a knee late in the FA Cup third-round tie against Tottenham Hotspur at the Emirates Stadium in January 2014. In response to abuse from the area holding the visiting fans while he was being stretchered off, Walcott made a hand gesture that reflected the 2-0 score a lean, and he and the stretcher bearers were pelted with coins and other missiles thrown from that area. The FA reminded him of his responsibilities, but took no further action. The injury a ruptured anterior cruciate ligament of his left knee, meant he was ruled out for at least six months, so would miss the rest of the season and the 2014 FIFA World Cup. On November 1, 2014, Walcott came off the bench in the 81st minute during a 3-0 Premier League home victory against Burnley for his first Gunners appearance in 10 months. He made his first start of the season against Hull City in the third round of the FA Cup on January 4, 2015, exactly a year after sustaining his injury at the same stage of the competition. On January 25, Walcott scored his first goal of 2014-15 campaign in the second minute of Arsenal's 3-2 FA Cup fourth round win at Brighton and Hove Albion. In Arsenal's final match of the league season, Walcott scored a 34-minute hat-trick against West Bromwich Albion at the Emirates Stadium. On May 30, Walcott was selected to start at centre-forward for Arsenal in the 2015 FA Cup final, scoring the opening goal in the team's 4-0 victory against Aston Villa. Ahead of the new season, it was announced that Walcott had extended his contract with Arsenal after prolonged negotiations. Walcott netted twice in pre-season in wins against Everton and Wolfsburg, as Arsenal won the Premier League Asia Trophy and the Emirates Cup. He began the 2015-16 season starting at centre-forward and assisting Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's winning goal in the 1-0 defeat of Chelsea in the 2015 FA Community Shield on August 2, 2015. On September 12, 
Walcott scored his first goal of the season in a 2-0 home victory against Stoke City in the 2015-16 Premier League. He netted three more times in September, including the opener in a 5-2 league win at Leicester City and in back-to-back -back UEFA Champions League defeats to Dinamo Zagreb and Olympiacos, in the latter of these he picked up an assist for an Alexis Sanchez header. His performances saw him voted Arsenal Supporters Player of the Month for September. He registered another two assists in a 3-0 home league win over Manchester United on October 4. On December 21, Walcott opened the scoring in a 2-1 league defeat of Manchester City at the Emirates. On March 8, Walcott scored a brace in a 4-0 away victory over Hull City in an FA Cup replay. Walcott started Arsenal's opening match of the 2016-17 season against Liverpool, in which he missed a penalty after being brought down by Alberto Moreno, however, he made up for his earlier miss by scoring Arsenal's opener, however Arsenal still lost the match 3-4. Walcott scored his second goal of the season and his 100th career goal after linking up with Alex Iwabi to chip the ball over Hull City goalkeeper Eldon Jack Upovic to score Arsenal's second goal in a 4-1 win. He then netted his first Champions League goals of the season with a brace in a 2-0 win over Basel on September 30. On December 17, 2016, Walcott scored the opening goal of a 2-1 loss at Manchester City before being substituted with a calf injury. He returned on January 28, 2017, scoring a hat-trick against former club Southampton in the fourth round of the FA Cup at St Mary's Stadium. He scored his 100th goal for Arsenal on February 20 in the next round of the FA Cup in a 2-0 victory over Sutton United. On April 5, Walcott captained Arsenal to a 3-0 win in their league match at the Emirates against London rivals West Ham United, he scored the second goal, which was his 19th and last of the season and took his total to 104. He was an unused substitute as Arsenal beat Chelsea 2-1 in the 2017 FA Cup final. With the scores tied at 1-1 after normal time, Walcott converted his kick as Arsenal beat Chelsea 4-1 on penalties to win the 2017 Community Shield, but throughout his last season at Arsenal, he was mainly used in the Europa League and in the EFL Cup, and he only made six substitute appearances in the Premier League. By October, he was increasingly on the fringes at Arsenal, and was criticised following a poor performance when made captain in a 2-1 League Cup victory at home to championship side Norwich City. With Arsenal's second-highest goalscorer Ian Wright suggesting that for Walcott's own good, he needed to leave the club, a view with which Wenger disagreed. Walcott did score four goals during his last season at the club, against Doncaster Rovers in the League Cup, and three in the Europa League group stage, all coming against Beit Barisov, with two away, and one at home. At Everton On January 17, 2018, Walcott signed a three-and-a-half-year contract with Everton in what the BBC reported as a deal worth more than pound 20 m. He made his debut for the club three days later, providing the assist for Imernice's equaliser in a one-to-one -one draw at home to West Bromwich Albion in the Premier League. He then recorded a brace in his next match, a 2-1 win over Leicester. At Southampton On October 5, 2020, Walcott rejoined Southampton on loan. On October 17, he played for Southampton again for the first time since 2006 and provided an assist to Janik Vestergaard's 92nd-minute equaliser in a 3-3 draw against Chelsea in the Premier League. Walcott scored his first goal since rejoining the club in a 1-1 draw against Wolves on November 23. He would score again in a 1-1 draw against his former side Arsenal in the league on December 16. On May 18, 2021, Walcott signed a permanent two-year contract at Southampton which activated after his current loan deal with Everton expired at the end of June. On August 14, 2021, Walcott made his first appearance since joining Southampton against Everton in a 3-1 defeat. Walcott would not score during the 2021-22 season. On October 23, 2022, Walcott made his first appearance of the 2022-23 season in a 1-1 draw against Arsenal, 
replacing Adam Armstrong in the 73rd minute. On March 18, 2023, Walcott scored his first goal since his permanent move back to Southampton in a 3-3 draw against Tottenham Hotspur. On April 21, he scored the second goal of a 3-3 away draw against former club Arsenal. On May 28, 2023, Walcott confirmed his exit from Southampton following the conclusion of the season, but expressed his desire to continue playing football. On August 18, 2023, Walcott announced his retirement from football, bringing an end to a career that spanned 563 club appearances and 47 England caps. Walcott released a message on Twitter thanking all the clubs, coaches and players he worked with and played alongside. International Career On May 8, 2006, 17-year-old Walcott was named in Sven-Goran Eriksson's squad for the 2006 FIFA World Cup. On May 25, 2006, Walcott came on as a second-half substitute for the England B team against Belarus. On May 30, 2006, he became England's youngest ever senior player by appearing in a 3-1 friendly win over Hungary at Old Trafford aged 17 years and 75 days. Despite being one of only two fully fit strikers in the England squad, the other being Peter Crouch, he did not play during the tournament. Eriksson defended his decision, claiming that the experience would serve Walcott well for future tournaments. After the World Cup, Eriksson stepped down as England manager. New appointment Steve McLaren put Walcott into the England under-21s, claiming he was toughening up on his squad selections. On August 15, 2006, Walcott became the youngest player ever to score for the England under-21 team when he scored the opener after three minutes in England's 2-2 draw with Moldova at Ipswich Town's ground Portman Road. The match against Moldova was his first cap for the England under-21s. Walcott scored two goals against Germany to seal qualification for England to the under-21 European Championship, in the playoff second leg in October 2006, with his second drawing comparisons with Thierry Henry. Over the summer of 2009, Walcott participated in England under-21 team's 2009 UEFA European under-21 championship campaign despite protestations from his club manager, Arsene Wenger. Wenger complained that Walcott's participation in the tournament as well as matches with the senior squad would lead to burnout and injury. England reached the final of the U21 Euros, where they lost 4-0 to Germany, with Walcott thus earning a silver medal as a runner-up. On September 6, 2008, Walcott made his first competitive start in a World Cup qualifier against Andorra, and in the following match against Croatia on September 10 he opened his senior international goals tally and became the youngest player in history to score a hat-trick for England. In doing so, Walcott also became the first England player to score a hat-trick in a competitive match since Michael Owen in 2001. Walcott returned to the international fold on March 3, 2010 in a friendly against Egypt. It was his first international start for nine months. He faded after a bright start and was replaced by Sean Wright Phillips after 57 minutes as England recovered from a goal down to beat Egypt 3-1 at Wembley Stadium. His performance came under heavy criticism from Chris Waddle who said of Walcott, I've never seen him develop. He just doesn't understand the game for me, where to be running, when to run inside a full back, when to just play a 1-2. It's all off the cuff. I just don't think he's got a football brain and he's going to have problems. Let's be honest, good defenders would catch him offside every time. Walcott started England's friendly victories against Mexico and Japan in May 2010. However, on June 1, 2010, it was announced that Walcott had been left out of England's 23-man World Cup squad by Fabio Capello. On July 4, a few days after England's exit from the World Cup, Lionel Messi said that he was shocked by Walcott's exclusion as he believed that Walcott could have made the difference against Germany and Algeria. In January 2011, Capello admitted that he had made a mistake in not selecting Walcott for the 2010 World Cup. 
in the Euro 2012 qualifying match against Switzerland on September 7, 2010, Walcott was stretchered off after he was clipped in the build-up to Wayne Rooney's opener for England after 10 minutes putting him out of action for several weeks. At UEFA Euro 2012, Walcott appeared for England as a second-half substitute in the group match against Sweden. Shortly after coming on, Walcott scored to bring the match level at 2-2. Less than 15 minutes later, he provided the cross for Danny Welbeck's 74th minute winner in England's 3-2 victory. Afterwards, England manager Roy Hodgson praised Walcott's enormous impact on the match, while Lee Dixon on the BBC said Walcott had changed the game. Walcott also played in the final group match against Ukraine which England won 1-0. Walcott started in England's 5-0 win against San Marino, but was injured in an early clash with the goalkeeper Aldo Simoncini. After treatment on the touchline, he was substituted for Aaron Lennon, and then taken to hospital as a precaution, where he underwent scans and tests according to England manager Roy Hodgson 172 Walcott was later ruled out of England's next match against Poland. He did not start a match in the qualifiers until almost a year later on September 6, when he played the full 90 minutes in the 4-0 win against Moldova, he also played 87 minutes in the following match against Ukraine, which ended in a 0-0 draw, but he was injured before England's match against Montenegro and he was still out against Poland, which England won 2-0 to qualify for the 2014 FIFA World Cup, in Brazil. Having missed out on the 2014 World Cup through injury, Walcott was not selected by Roy Hodgson for the 26-man provisional Euro 2016 squad announced in May 2016. Hodgson commented, Theo unfortunately has not got such a regular match over the last few months and has had a few problems with injury. It's a tough decision but it's one you have to take. Walcott was informed by England manager Gareth Southgate on March 16, 2017, his 28th birthday, that he was being dropped from the squad to play a friendly against Germany and a 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifier against Lithuania, despite scoring 17 goals in 29 appearances in all club competitions during the 2016-17 season. Southgate said that Walcott had not transferred his early season form into the England matches against Malta and Slovenia in October 2016 and Spain in November 2016. The appearance against Spain would prove to be Walcott's final appearance for England. Style of play Walcott is well known for his rapid pace, with former Barcelona manager Pep Guardiola declaring that you would need a pistol to stop him. He has been likened by Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger to the club's all-time leading scorer, Thierry Henry. 177 FIFA World Player of the Year winner Lionel Messi has described Walcott as one of the most dangerous players I have ever played against. In addition to his speed, Walcott also possesses good balance, movement, and technique. Outside Football his family made a cameo appearance in the 2007 film Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, directed by David Yates, the uncle of Walcott. Walcott himself was due to appear as well, but his commitments to Arsenal forced him to drop out. His cousin Jacob Walcott was a trainee at Reading and a member of the England national under-17 football team appearing in the 2009 UEFA European Under-17 Championship. His older sister, Holly, is a bodybuilder who came second in the British Natural Bodybuilding Federation Central Championships in July 2010. Walcott has been in a long-term relationship with Melanie Slade, after meeting in 2004 at the West Quay Shopping Centre in Southampton. The couple married at the Castello di Vinsigliata in Tuscany, Italy, in June 2013. Their first son Finlay James Walcott was born on April 10, 2014, with their second son, Arlo, being born on November 26, 2016. Walcott has been involved with the UK charities Build a School and Best Beginnings. He also has a pie named in his honour at the Arsenal Pie Shop in Holloway, which won a gold award at the British Pie Awards of 2015. On April 6, 2008, 
Walcott was a torchbearer for the Olympic flame for Beijing 2008 as it was paraded around London. He was the penultimate torchbearer just before Dame Kelly Holmes. When Walcott was 14 years old, he signed an endorsement deal with American sportswear and equipment supplier, Nike. In November 2012 he appeared in an advert for the new Nike Green Speed 2 alongside Eden Hazard and Raheem Sterling. In February 2015, Walcott announced a new sponsorship deal with Adidas. Walcott appeared in an advert for Adidas in August 2016, showing off his skills in dribbling and flicking a ball into the open top of a wheelie bin. Walcott features in EA Sports FIFA video game series. One of his goal celebrations, Pat A Cake Dance with Mesut Ozil, appears in FIFA 14. Walcott has four published books, TJ and the Hat Trick, TJ and the Penalty, TJ and the Winning Goal and TJ and the Cup Run. The first two were published in April 2010, with the latter two being published in August 2010. All four were published by Corgi Children's. In August 2011, Walcott's autobiography Theo, Growing Up Fast was published by Bantam Press. The book caused controversy because of his criticism of England manager Fabio Capello, whom he describes as cold and clinical. Some of his honours. At Southampton. FA Youth Cup runner-up, 2004, 05. At Arsenal. FA Cup. 2014 to 15, 2016 to 17. FA Community Shield, 2015, 2017. Football League Cup runner-up, 2006, 07. With England under 21. UEFA European Under 21 Championship runner-up, 2009. At individual level. BBC Young Sports Personality of the Year. 2006. BBC London Young Footballer of the Year, 2008. Thank you for watching this video.